Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, probably tell by how scruffy and uh, grubby I am that uh, I've been in the shop for a few hours already. <clears throat> I've been working on the uh, 51 for the most part. Uh, I did cut out some uh, pieces of metal for my uh, front fender brace for the Model A, so I'm going to get on that. That'll be in the next video though. This one's on a 51. Got a couple of uh, small frame repairs to do. Uh, it's a little thin, two spots. Uh, finished bolting that uh, rear diff in, um, cleaning up the frame, frame rails, cutting off some brackets and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we'll get on that. I wanna seal it up, get it ready for plate. I, uh, I didn't make it into town to get plate yet. Uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna tie in a, a few things together. Uh, Cause running into town at the price of gas, it's like eight, dollars and 25 cents a gallon right now it's ridiculous so you know you got to plan your trips right <laughs> uh what else uh i did go pick up some sheet metal for the 51 um uh, a guy who uh, watches my channel and uh got a hold of me local guy uh he's got a ton of stuff man it's uh he's got a really cool setup there so um yeah, I did pick up some sheet metal. I'll show you what that's all about. Uh, he's got more stuff, but I uh, can't get to it till the spring. So, you know, we'll uh, we'll make another run down the road. Uh, but I did get a substantial amount of sheet metal for this, uh, for this truck. Uh, new subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, tell your buddies, tell your chums. Um, spread the word, man. It's, uh, it's going in the right direction, and I like it. Uh, what else? Yeah, uh, I gotta make a, I do have to make a run to Canadian Tire. That's very close. It's, it's like a mile and a half for me. And, uh, pick up some discs and sanding discs and cutting wheels and other stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go as far as I can with the plate I've got. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we might as well just, uh, just get after it, man. Okay, so my spring pads are all welded in solid, both sides, looking good, so I'm ready to put this together. I also went to the uh, local spring shop to get some U-bolts made. Um, they had these already bent up for someone. Uh, the guy had ordered them, never picked them up. So, uh, you know, they're normally uh, 30 bucks a piece with the nuts and the washers. I got these ones for 20 so save 40 bucks so that's a good deal so uh, yeah i scored them they're a little bit long but they're threaded up high enough to uh to catch the bottom plate so uh i'll just trim off the excess after i got them on that's all no big deal for uh for 40 bucks yeah piece of cake so i'm gonna put this thing together and bolt her up Okay, so uh, before I bolt them together, I need something to bolt them to. So I made this plate up. Uh, there's two of them, one on each side, of course. This center hole here, uh, that's where your bolt that holds the spring together is going to be. I kind of elongated it a little bit, so I have some adjustment back and forth. And uh, yeah, I pre-fit the, uh, the U-bolt into the, uh, the holes. And everything's good, so uh, I can just go ahead and bolt that up. So that's quarter-inch plate heavy steel um yeah so that'll do the job so i'm gonna go ahead and bolt that together now okay so she's all bolted up and on wheels um uh, you know i gotta cut about three inches off those uh those u-bolts are almost dragging on the ground so yeah i've got about three three and a half inches of those to cut off but uh, i'm gonna get that when i get the truck up in the air um yeah so uh now I've got to put in an order of parts. I'm going to finish cleaning up the frame over here and down here. And, you know, get these brackets and crap off. So uh, that'll be my next step. And then I've got a, like I said, a small frame rail repair. The bottom of the frame rail. A little thin. So we'll get on that. And uh, over here, I'm trying to clean up here and make some room. Got a bunch of sheet metal in. Brand new floor pan with the braces and inner rockers and everything. Uh, this is a cowl patch panel for the front passenger side right here. So uh, that complete panel. There's also 
uh, brand new cab corners. And this is good heavy, uh, heavy gauge metal. It's not junk. So, so yeah, so we got the cab corners. Uh, this is the filler piece that would go in here. Right. Oh, go in there. You get, you get the idea. So, you know, it's all pieces that I needed big time. So, uh, yeah. I'm quite pleased. Got it uh, way below retail. So uh, that's a sweet deal. So I'm really happy to get this. It doesn't come with the seat riser, but uh, the guy has one. Uh, but it's buried in the snow right now. He's got a bunch of stuff in the shed behind his place and he, he can't even get to the shed. So in the spring, you know, a few weeks, uh, the snow melts and uh, I'm gonna be making a run to this guy's place. And uh, scope out what he's got and see if there's more stuff I can have. He's also got, he told me, a piece of a roof from here cut off there. So that'll get me a piece to uh, patch where my tree landed on the truck. So uh, that'll save a ton of work. So uh, yeah, overall pretty good. So a little bit of cleanup and, uh, on the frame back and uh i put in an order of parts so uh we'll see hopefully they come in fairly quickly um i ordered them from two different spots so uh, we'll see what happens but uh yeah so anyway i'm gonna carry on okay so i uh did my two little patches those are the only spots that needed uh needed that kind of work um this side here no patching at all so I've got to uh, just clean up, you know, wire brush wheel on a drill. We'll clean this whole whole thing up. I'll knock the shock bracket off, but I can use this on the other side. Um, what I'll do is I'll take that off and this one, and when I box in my, my frame, I can just swap them around, and that'll move the shock to the inside of the frame where I want it. So, yeah, we can, uh, we can reuse these. So that's cool. Um, yeah, just lots of cleanup. Uh, get some rust, uh, what do they call that, rust converter on it. And uh, we can start plating this thing in. I don't have any plate right now. Um, I was supposed to go last week. But I'm trying to tie it in with a run for other things. Uh, because gas is over $8 a gallon. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, uh, you know, I don't want to be going back and forth to town. So, we make it in one trip. And, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay, so we cleaned her up, uh, got my rust converter from here to about that bracket over there, that bracket's coming off, um, same as over here, from about here down to around here somewhere. Uh, I don't have enough plate to finish boxing that all in, I have a little bit left, <clears throat> and uh, so I'm going to use up what I can. But uh, just, there's not a whole lot. I got maybe enough to do, uh, you know, two feet maybe on one side. And my uh, my big idea of using the shock brackets and just swapping them from side to side is not going to work. It is rotten. So I can't use that. Um, so I'll have to figure out something else. 
and we'll uh, we'll fabricate something, make it work. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, like I said, go ahead and plate up what I can. Uh, not a whole lot here, but uh, so that's that's where I'm at. Well, there you have it. Uh, didn't get far on the plate. Just uh, don't have that much material. It's, uh, dimensions don't work, so I'm kind of screwed until I get plate tomorrow or Monday. Um, did get that sheet metal though. That's from the fellow's name is Dean. Thank you, Dean. Good deal. Um, so you know I've got to order some sheet metal. There's a uh, <clears throat> cowl patch panel, inner kick panels for the uh, driver side, left side. Um, so, you know, I'll figure out exactly what I need, but I'm saving a ton of money on, on what I picked up there already. Uh, so that's good. I placed an order in, uh, for my front end stuff. So I've got new spindles coming, uh, big brakes, 11 inch rotors, uh, calipers, caliper brackets, uh, ball joints. So yeah, that's, that's going to be in, but they're, they're saying two weeks delivery we'll see i know uh <laughs> i know a lot of guys are having issues with uh shipping so we'll see how that goes um uh, i ordered parts from two different suppliers so one is coming it's a canadian outfit called wrench monkey um they're going to be in probably monday or tuesday next week the other stuff they're saying two weeks so the 25th 27th something like that of march uh that's coming from the u.s so like i said we'll see um yeah it was dirty dirty work uh a lot of dust and crap and i can't believe how much garbage came off this truck man it just seems like for weeks i've been hauling stuff outside <laughs> all this crap uh when i pulled the old diff out i i had propped up the uh the the shaft so that oil wouldn't leak out and uh for whatever reason i moved it and didn't prop it back up so I ended up with an oil spill, with, you know, gear oil, a patch about eight feet square. It all drained out all over the floor, so I was a mess to clean up. And gear oil is ugly, man. It's thick and it's brutal. Anyway, it took me a couple hours to clean that mess up. I uh, finally threw the diff outside. Uh, you know, when the snow melts, man, <laughs> I'm going to have an issue with, with little piles of garbage all over the place. I mean... I've just been throwing it out and letting the snow cover it up. So, uh, <laughs> you know, this spring I'm going to have an issue. I'm going to have to clean up before somebody bitches. Uh, I don't need I don't need any visits from a bylaw officer. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, uh, happy to get the rear wheels on, and uh, the next big job is going to be the front end. So uh, when I get those parts, that's going to be cool. So I'm kind of waiting for parts, waiting for plate. Uh, I am going to get plate on Monday, so, you know, I can get rolling on that anyway, but that's a day's work. Uh, so I'm going to get on the Model A. Uh, I got to get that front fender brace finished up, get the fenders dialed in. Um, yeah, what else? Oh yeah, I got to get that, uh, that track bar in and, uh, yeah, get ready for paint. I mean, it's, it's close. I, I just got to... You know, block sand it maybe one more time. <clears throat> I've done it once already. I've got to do it again. And, uh, yeah, because, I, I, you know, spring is coming. These people want this car, especially the guy's wife, and I don't want to piss her off. <laughs> you know. Um, so, yeah, it's supposed to start warming up, like, plus 8, plus 10 degrees next week. So spring is coming, and uh, they're going to want their car back and get on the road and, and start uh, start driving this thing. So that's my uh, priority for the next two weeks. Hopefully have it out of here by the end of March. That's the plan. But like most of my plans, they never seem to work out. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, what I'm doing wrong. But anyway, uh, we'll get after it and uh, get that Model A done. So, you know, subscribe, hit the little bell. It'll tell you when the, uh, the next video is out. If you've been following along on the 51, uh, you know, and you subscribe, you won't miss uh, you won't miss a step. Uh, when we get into doing that front end, there's a lot of lot of stuff involved with that, so that'll be kind of cool. 
uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, if you don't do anything else, get in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.